see other things from suppliers you already use. I mean, I know it's all coming through Cater Food, but you get to chat to the suppliers direct and you can find their new products. So Vanier desserts, for example, um, we've seen some new things today that we might be able to increase our range with, and all the suppliers are helpful as well in terms of giving support to the products when you start to try and sell it. One of the interesting things for me today has been the sources, you know, the rich sources. It allows me to make lots of different types of pizzas but keep the same kind of basic uh, uh, ingredients. So yeah, no, it's been good. This year, the gluten-free side of the business seems to be kicking off more, so we're really interested in looking at what is around uh, snacks as well as meals. Um, the allergen stuff that's coming through at the moment is highly important. premium products so to be able to show artisan breads alongside the flower baps has been really useful. Get to know the guys that you're buying off, they get to them because they're more enthusiastic when you speak to someone you think oh we'll try that. showcase new products we've got um, probably five or six new products that we're showcasing and it gives the customer the opportunity to see the product rather than looking at a price list they can actually see the product try the product uh, get feedback from them so no it works really well for both us and Cater Foods. The biggest and most important reason for doing a trade show is that so customers can come along and they can see new products try new things so they may be thinking about changing their menu, they may be trying to refine an idea they've got, and they might want to talk to supplier about what the best options might be for them and how they can make, best make that fit their menu. Uh, and I think what we've seen today is over 110 suppliers with a lot of new ideas.